been bowling probably for the past like 50 years or so. I think it's all those years of sleeping under the bridge that's really helped me develop my skill. A passion just comes from, just comes from inside. Where else? I mean, you could say I'm good, but I prefer the best. My techniques are a little, uh, a little unconventional, you might say. I picked this little baby up one day. I was uh, stumbled and drunk into this random funeral, snatched it off the body. Most people would say it's a bad thing, but it's been nothing but 300s, baby. I haven't won any competitions or joined any teams or won any leagues. That's okay. I mean, that's that doesn't matter. I need someone to tell me I'm great. I say that to myself every day for free. I didn't even know bowling was a sport until I started coming in in the morning. You always need two shoes when bowling. A lot of people can say I have a drinking problem, but I think they just have a people problem. Let's get a bowl. I don't do anything else but bowl. I've burned my past away just to shed light on my future of bowling. Because that's where it's at, people. You know, I don't even know how many pins there are. I don't keep count of that. It's just nonsense. I just like seeing them fall down. Usually when I win a big game, I just bowl again. See, the key to bowling is to just not fuck up. When I have really bad nights, just really bad days, I usually go down to Walgreens, buy a nice little tub of Vaseline, just give the gold, good little golden hand another little lube job. Any advice for amateurs would just be, don't be an amateur. It's taking me a long time to get to where I'm at. But if I were to picture myself in 10 years, I'd still be right here, bowling, greatness.